Hi everyone, I am Apollonia Fuente, your dating and relationship coach for you men to attract that woman you desire and go confidently in the direction to get the love life that you deserve. And in today's video, we are going to talk about how to make a woman squirt and I am, am, have the opportunity to have Michelle Alva. She is a sex expert, a tantra healer, and a physical therapist that connects your heart and soul to your sexuality. Mm. Thanks for joining. And your squirting power. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining, Michelle. Thank you. Thank you for having I'm me. So, I'm actually really excited to do this I one. love this topic. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure you men viewers do too. So make sure you still to stay till the very end uh, because we also do have something special for you. So I just kind of want to go over, Let's. I think we have a prop, right? Let's mm -hmm. use this prop. All right, perfect. Yes. Okay, so let's go over a little bit about how to, well, what squirting, does squirting even yeah, mean? How squirting about that? is the female ejaculation and the G-spot and squirting go hand in hand. You want to get to know the G-spot. If you're really interested in having your goddess squirt, just stimulating her clitorally on the outside, uh, well, that might take a little longer for that to happen if you just focus on the external. So what I would recommend is for men to go internal, and this is after you've done some foreplay, okay. because the more a woman feels safe and relaxed and heard, the more she's going to surrender her body to the openness of squirting. Squirting is a deeper connection to the woman's body she has to have. Uh, and, and more awareness of her G-spot because the G-spot, the, that area swells up and that's where the liquids are made. So for you to get in there, I, I recommend getting to know where the G-spot is. Yes. So for men, the second joint of your finger, that's where you want to go inside with your finger facing up if she's laying down this way. So you slide your finger so that the second joint is inside and then you're gonna palpate on the upper part. So this upper area is where the G-spot is located inside the vagina. And with your pad of your index finger, you can massage around her area there and it feels like the pit of a peach. It's a little rough on that upper, upper side of the vagina wall and you can go forward and back that's very stimulating. It's like saying, come on over here, come here. <laughs> <laughs> and then you could also circle around and you can also go side to side. And as you're doing that, I highly recommend taking deep breaths because that's going to help you to move your creative sexual energy and hers. Mm -hmm. So if you're, if you're focused on the G-spot and you're rubbing on the G-spot and G-spot, 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 that is going to get her to feel sore and it's just too much concentrated energy. It's a very sensitive spot. So I, I recommend circling around the vagina, not making it only about the G-spot because then she's going to feel pressured energetically that you want her to squirt or you want her to do something and that just works against you. So what I would recommend is you can feel, look into her eyes and you can, with the other hand, massage her from her. So for example, can you hold this for yeah, a second? Yeah, of course. So okay. let's just say that you are, maybe you're, you're um, depending on what position you're in, your finger is inside and you're massaging her G-spot. You can, uh, with the other hand, go up to her heart, to her breasts, and then come back down and take deep breaths. As you're massaging her G-spot, look into her eyes, kiss her, you can nibble on her nipples. You can scratch her nipples. You can, can I, I don't know how much I can do here, but um, <laughs> so one finger is on the G-spot, massaging the G-spot, and the other can, you can caress her hair with your other hand. And, and instead of you trying to do it and look at it as work, just let your own sexual energy, breathe into your own sexual organs and, Ask yourself, you know, how do I want to please her? What do I want to do next? Mm -hmm. And not make it about a job or work because then it's not fun for you, trust me. The other thing you can do is you can blow um, every now and then mm -hmm. over her vagina and blow up her belly, blow over her belly, um, do things with different input. 
You know, we use feathers and tantra and roses and just having an all out fun exploration. You can also take your nails and kind of scratch a little along her side of her, the side of her waist. Uh, and this whole area, this is where the yoni massage, massaging outside the vagina first and the thighs and just really adoring your goddess not making it about the squirting and as a byproduct of all this pleasure and excitement that you've created in her <sighs> she's just going to be so aroused that that's eventually what's going to happen if you've made sure that she's feeling pleasure internally in her vagina so get to know the walls of her vagina massage the inside not just with your penis with your finger and get to know does she feel tense does she feel relaxed you could even ask her how does it feel there mm -hmm. do you feel any different there you know so you could play doctor um, and make it more about an exploration be in the wonder be in the awe and then of course if you move your finger quickly swiftly uh, around the g-spot area with a lot of lubrication make sure that you have enough lubrication um, eventually she's going to start to feel very turned on electrically you are even going to feel that she starts to maybe create these little contractions and she's starting to orgasm and go into that phase of more intensity and at that point i highly recommend breathing up to your heart you staying connected to your body and feeling your own energy and then allowing that energy of arousal to be shared with her energy so as you're touching her and caressing her and noticing how she's getting juicier eventually that that will happen and of course moving your finger quickly is going to stimulate those nerves even more intensely but you really want to not overdo it that it turns her off and gets her stressed out because the vagina is such a sensitive area less is more when you make out while you're stimulating her g-spot the doing anything with your mouth orally is very very sexual and sensual while you're being touched so the mouth the upper lips and the lower lips are definitely connected and it, it'll probably be easier to kiss and, and ejaculate simultaneously. Both of the lips are relaxed and being massaged, you know, mm -hmm. in different ways. Um, but then there's some people that don't kiss their partner, you know, depending on who you're connecting with. So the more intimate and deeper the relationship, it's easier for the squirting to happen because that's a really deeper release that a lot of women at least i work with a lot of women that they're they don't have orgasms they don't even even have a libido so squirting for some people is like the white unicorn you know yeah it is. um that that they just have no idea what an orgasm feels like mm -hmm. so i would begin with a lot of the gentle massaging that's where the yoni massage is really awesome to get a woman to just and some women have so much tightness down there that you'd be amazed. Get down there and just assess, you know, what's <laughs> going on down there first before even thinking that you want your goddess to be remotely, uh, you know, having that ability. It's asking a lot is what yeah. I'm trying to say here. It is, yeah. I definitely think like speaking from a woman's perspective on this, obviously as the outside and not much of the sex expert like yourself, I know for me, I've experienced it takes time for a woman to get there and it's more of the mental and mental connection that she has with the man that's with her so if she feels safe if she feels secure and if she feels like he's taking his time mm -hmm. and enjoying it in the yeah. process it's not gonna work if she's feeling on. rushed exactly that's a huge turn objectified on. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to bring that up because we always feel like we got to rush this, you know, and it's like he, the man always is like, oh my gosh, I got to rush this because I'm so turned on myself. But taking your time and pacing, I know, is the ultimate winner mm -hmm. for... Well, I remember a time that I squirted where my partner said to me, we were making out and he was, he was fingering me and I just was so aroused at the thought that he was actually going to enter me because I hadn't seen him in a while, he was traveling. And literally he said to me, I'm going to enter you now. And I squirt before he even <laughs> entered me. But that's me. You know, that's my body. Yeah. It's very open because this is the work that I yeah, do, right? Exactly. But I'm just letting you know that it doesn't even, like we just talked about all this stimulation, but let's backtrack a little bit. If that woman is so open that she's so aroused genuinely because you're turning her on so much 
because of the beautiful connection you both have with each other, that the squirting actually is just a real beautiful release. Yeah. It's, it's, a lot of, it's a lot of releasing that, that uh, arousal energy and it doesn't necessarily have to be a lot about working the G-spot, but for a lot of people, they're not even there. So this is why I work with people to just make them more ecstatic, mm -hmm. more turned on, just naturally turned on yeah. to life. Yes. Um, that that influences the G-spot. So I'm glad we mentioned that. Yeah. yeah. And I just want to close it out with this too, because I see this so much in um, when men are explaining their sexual, when they're with their woman sexually, that sometimes they have a tendency to be a little bit rough because they think that's what women like and that's what will turn them on or turn... Uh, their woman on or whatever the case may be and that's really not true because roughness will get a woman sore down there and also it just doesn't feel good what feels good is taking that time like you were saying Michelle and really getting involved with your woman physically verbally and mentally and to bring that all together so she can get that powerful orgasm as well with you yeah, yeah. and to be playful about it you know mm -hmm. I, I think like the roughness if it's in play um, a playful roughness, like come here, you know. But if <laughs> yeah. it's, but if it's something that is like a, a overuse, I'm talking about when I think he's people, like, yeah. But I, what I know for me, with the experience I've heard, is that people act like it's turning them on because they, they, they don't have the power to speak up. Mm -hmm. A lot of you have to understand that women, we like to please and. We may not tell you everything exactly, so don't trust us. Like a woman's yes might be no, and a woman's no might mean yes. You, so you all know how they say sometimes, women are crazy, yeah. you know, women are mad. Pay so, attention to body language. Yes. It's so important. Pay that attention to it, yeah. yeah. And, and don't even only listen to what we say because, because some, oh, half sorry, the time it's not even true. And, and sometimes know? it'll break the mood. That's why women don't do that. Yeah. Like I know for myself sometimes when I was younger in my 20s and I was kind of experimenting a little bit, it would break the mood for me because I wasn't uh, was totally aware of myself yet. You know, mm -hmm. still in the 20s, figuring myself out, yeah. a little confused, not about my sexuality, just confused about sex in general, you know. And I wouldn't know how to communicate that because I was never taught that as a young girl, you know. So I think that that also did a disadvantage because it also turned me off when I was trying to instruct my partner what to do as well. Mm -hmm. So I think that was really important. So just so you, didn't, you know, those things can come up in a relationship and women sometimes, not because they're playing games or because they just want you to read their mind. No, because sometimes they just don't feel safe. Yeah. Yes, sometimes that happens, but sometimes they just don't know how and to. And they don't want to be rejected either by you. Exactly. So I think body language is never going to lie. You will know by the moans, the grunts, the, the dryness. The emotions. Yes, exactly. The dryness and everything. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Beautiful. I'm so happy Yay. we did this video. And because you stay till the very end, I am going to put Michelle's links on the bottom in the description box below. You will have her YouTube channel, her website. And since she is the sex expert, please feel free to reach out to her. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, you can also comment below as Michelle and I will be answering them personally. And remember, this is a safe place. So go ahead and comment as these comments will be monitored. And as always, you can share this video with a friend that can use this as well and get some beneficial information from it, right? Yes. <laughs> let's, let's have a happy, juicy population of people out there that are just <laughs> <laughs> I love enjoying it. their bodies to the max I love it all right everyone we'll see you again in the next video and remember you are always loved bye for now bye <laughs>